Happy 4th of July. Will you join me in praying with gratitude for our country today? We do so not because it is perfect, but because it's a gift from the one who is perfect. Throughout our history, America has had significant moments where we find ourselves struggling and even getting knocked down at times. But we continue finding a way to rise again, continue reaching, clawing, and at times inching towards that more perfect union. So join me in praying that each of us might be part of the solution and not part of the problem in our country. Each of us can give thanks for the freedom we have in America. Each of us can celebrate process, not perfection. It's true that we cannot control what the left or the right will say. We cannot control what the news will or will not report. We cannot find logic and reason in the hate. We cannot find peace in the tempest of rage and revenge. We can't find gratitude in the screaming and the grumbling. But we can choose what words we will say to those who disagree with us. We can choose how to react to the storms that strike serenity. We can find gratitude in the daily opportunity to pursue a better version of what our forefathers intended. Yes, God has blessed America and wants to continue to bless America through his son, Jesus. It is truly in the blessing and new life of Christ that you can choose to love in the face of hate. You can choose to think about things that are true, right, and lovely, and you can extend forgiveness and not carry the heavy burden of wrongs done to you. You can seek forgiveness for those you have wronged. You can choose to give up your own God-given personal rights in order to serve someone else and extend the hope of the gospel. And you can choose to never, 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 never give up. Galatians 6, 9 reminds us, Let us not become weary in doing good, for at the proper time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. May God bless America. Let's pray. God, we give you great thanks and praise for the freedom that you have given to us here in America. We thank you for our country. While it is not perfect, we do thank you for the many places where we have the opportunity to express, to enjoy freedom, and to celebrate this life that you have given to us. We do ask that you would continue to bless America. We pray that you would guide our leaders into a greater truth that you would guide all people into an understanding of where true freedom is anchored. It is anchored in you, Jesus. We celebrate and give you thanks for our freedom, and we pray that you would help us to live out that freedom in a way that brings you honor, in a way that increases the blessing in America. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.